Hello and welcome to the another lecture on power generation and economics. Myself, Kothi Thorai, Assistant Professor of Dr. Shukit Chandra Shudiki Engineering College, Electrical Engineering Department. So, we have already learned that how to form a load curve and what are the different types of parameters, means load factor, units generated per annum, also the average load, the maximum demands, calculations that we have already done. Now today, we will do some industrial base related problems that are done in the industries in order to find our daily load demands. So, let's start with some numerical problems related with power generation and economics. So let us take this, take one of the problem, that is this one. It is given that the annual load duration curve of a certain power station can be considered as a straight line from two 20 megawatt to 4 megawatt. It's a straight line from 20 megawatt to 4 megawatt. To meet this load, three turbine generator units, two rated at 10 megawatt each and one rated at 5 megawatt are installed. Determine number one, install capacity, plant factor, number two, number three, units generated per annum, number four, load factor, and number five, utilization factor. So it is given that, first of all, we have to draw the load curve. So we are now doing the, we are now drawing the load curve. So this is known to us. One is the time. This is the total hours. Total hours. In, an, in a year. Hours, hours of the year, hours of the year, and this is our load. So we know that hours is starting from zero and ended with eight. This is a zero point eight seven six zero, which is three sixty five into twenty four three sixty five years and twenty four hours in a day. So let us first draw the straight line. It is given that just follow a straight line from twenty megawatt to four megawatt. So this is our twenty megawatt. Say our scale division, this is our 20 megawatt. This is 20 to 20 over 10 kilowatt. This is our 20 megawatt and this is our 4 megawatt. So a line is coming, straight line is coming from 20 megawatt to 4 megawatt. In the for a one year. So value of that particular it is eight seven six zero the total hours. Now this given that first question is given to us is that what is the install capacity? First question is what is the install capacity? So 
Let us take install capacity. Can easily be found. It is given in the problem that to make this load, three turbine generator units, two rated at 10 megawatt each, and one rated at 5 megawatt each are installed. So it will be 2 mega to 10 megawatt. And another is 5 megawatt. Total install capacity is 25 megawatt it is given total install capacity. The first problem is you can approach to the solution of the first problem. The second one is the plan factor. So to find the plan factor for second problem find the plan factor. So the plan factor is also known to us. Plan factor equal to average demand by plant capacity. Average demand average demand Plant capacity. Plant capacity. Plant capacity. So plant capacity is known to us. This is 25 megawatts. We have found 25 megawatts. So what is our average demand? To find the average demand, to find the average demand, to find the average demand, you can easily find the average demand. That is the on that graph this is half of is half of twenty plus four. above 20 plus 4 from that particular graph it is 12 megawatt so this is the way that we can easily found the average demand so average demand is 12 and plant capacity is 25 so the plant factor is, can be easily found as 0 0.48 for 40 feet per second. Okay. Our third problem is that given units generated per annum. Our third problem is given in the ER much we may generate so this is the area under the graph so means this one will be this area the area of the triangle also the area of the rectangle so what is the area of the triangle half this this is 8760 Height. height is 20 minus 4 equal to 16. 20 minus 4 equal to 16. 20 minus 4. This is the height. The 16. And this is the total base. 8, 7, 6, 0. Okay. Plus the area of the 
is rectangle. It is four into four into four into eight seven centimeter. If I convert it into the um, megawatt to kilowatt, it will be defined as 105.12 into 10 to the power 6. What is the unit? 10 to the power 6 kilo watt hour so this is the total energy for the unit generated per annum our fourth is the load factor our fourth equation is the load factor load factor is known to us average demand by maximum demand average demand by maximum demand. So what is our average demand? Average demand is, we have found that average demand is this one, 2012. Maximum demand is, maximum demand that we have already found that is 20 from that particular graph. So 12 by 20 into 100, if we do it, 12 by 20 into 100, we have done it is the 60 percent is the load factor average demand by maximum demand last one is the it is given that utilization factor the fifth problem is Utilization factor is the only maximum demand by the plant capacity. The maximum demand by plant capacity. Maximum demand. Maximum demand that we have found 20 in the plant capacity that we have found 25, 210 and 15. That we have done into 100. So it will be to say that the percentage is 80. It is done. It is the utilization factor. This is the how we can approach to a particular solution of that problem. The next is our problem is that this one, the annual load duration card of a grid is represented by a straight line with maximum demand of 100 megawatt and minimum demand of 30 megawatt. The load has to be connected by one base load plan B and one peak load plan P. There is a two load plan. One is the base load plan B and one is the peak load plan, plan P. The annual operating cost for the two plans are as follows. C sub is V equal to 4000 into LV plus 2.5 into UV and C sub is V equal to 2500 into LP plus 3.0 into QP respectively. Here L is the rating of a plant in kilowatt, Q is the total annual generation in kilowatt hour and C is in Rupees. Find the rating of the two plants so that the annual cost of generation is minimum of the grid. Okay. So let us choose that CB is the operating cost of the base load plant, CP is the operating cost of the peak load plant, P 
PV is the load peak on the base load pad. PV is the load peak of the peak load pad. Okay. So the operating cost is of the base load and the peak load bands can be expressed as follows. Now we are doing it. Can be expressed as like that. It can be if CV equal to a one kilowatt, a one kilowatt plus B one kilowatt kilowatt hour and CP equal to a two kilowatt. So, if I compare that equation with that particular equation, this one is given that we can put a1 equal to 4000, a2 equal to 2500, b1 equal to 2.5, and b2 equal to 3.0. Comparing with us getting a one equal to a two equals to two five zero zero. Time that is each hours for which the base load to be operated for maximum overall cost is given by is that the minimum overall cost means for the minimum overall overall cost we have to count the how many hours that hours each which the base load to be operated. So in order to find that we are the hours each can be calculated means. This load to be operated for minimum overall cost it is found by A1 minus A2. By minus B2. So A1, B1 value is known to us. Just putting those values, we are getting this. Zero zero total number of hours in the base load is operated. Can we find this is using the three point zero minus two? It is equal to three thousand hours. Three zero zero. It is three zero zero hours. Three thousand hours. So this is given that we have to meet the meet the load demand of hundred megawatt. So it is totally given that we have to meet the load demand of 100 megawatt the total the maximum demand of 100 megawatt that is given so the maximum demand we have to meet by these two load 
got P B one S load and one S P load. Okay, to meet P B, so with the help of P loop P sub X B a hundred. Okay, so let's concentrate how we are drawn for this. How we can draw this graph? Find the information about that particular substrate. So let's, this is our load demand, load in megawatt, known to us. This is our time in hours. which is given that the minimum demand is 30 minimum demand is 30 and the maximum demand is 100 and it is also found that it's a straight line coming from 100 to So that hours that we have found is the 3000 hours for which the yes load is operating. So, so this is the 3000 hour. Say in our graph this is the 3000 points. How we are drawing, how this approach is taken into account. So this is the 3000. So I am drawing a perpendicular from here to there. In the particular loop. From here, I am drawing a part, uh, perpendicular to the event. So this is known as PB, our base load. This is known as PB, our base load. Here we are getting two. Here we are getting two. Triangles one say name is A B C another is the A O B say no A O So those two triangles are equivalent. So if those two triangles are equivalent, the triangle ABC, ABC and triangle and triangle E, this is the O and this is the E. O A O E. If those two triangles are equivalent, then we can easily write this one means A B by A O. We can easily write A B by A O is equivalent to DC by OE, DC DC by OE. So what is AB? AB is the this portion. So AB is B 
this portion. This portion means total is 100 and this portion is PV, so it is 100 minus PV. 100 minus 100. Okay, so what is AO? AO is this, this total portion. The maximum demand. So this one is this one is AO. So AO is total is hundred and this one is three hundred. A one is this A one is AO is the this portion is hundred minus thirty. It's hundred is thirty maximum demand and the minimum demand. This is from maximum demand to minimum demand. Okay. So what is BC? BC is this value. BC BC means this one. This one is three thousand. Found it. And what is this? Uh, this one is the OE. OE is this value. OE is 8760. 8760. So from that instead we can, from the, our calculating this equation, we found the PB or base load equal to 76. 274 to 74 that is nearly equal to is nearly equal to 76 megawatt nearly equal to 76 Now from that equation we can also find the PV. PP. So PP equal to the peak load is 100 minus PV. It is 100 minus PV. So if I put 100 minus this value. So we have obtained the value of PV, base load and PP. The peak load for the annual uh, base load and the peak load annual cost of regeneration is minimum of the grid. So two loads that we have found. So this type of numerical problems that we have done today. Thank you.